Hello, I'm Steve Grizzetti, co-founder of MoviePicks.com and author of the MoviePicks.com Guide to CyberLink PowerDirector. And here we are in PowerDirector 16, looking at some of the new tools that have been added by CyberLink to this very cool program. One of the coolest new workspaces is the Video Collage Designer, and that's a workspace where we can create a split screen. We can add several videos on screen at the same time. Now you can do that conventionally. It's a very complicated process and takes several tracks of video, but with this designer, you can do it very simply and very intuitively right on a single track. To open the video collage designer, you just go up to the puzzle piece here at the top of the media room, click on that and select video collage designer. Here's the video collage designer's workspace. As you can see, a number of templates here for your split screen going all the way up to seven videos on screen at the same time. Now I have to tell you, unless you have a very powerful computer, you're going to see a lot of lugging on your computer if you go to one of these more advanced templates. So for demonstration purposes, I'm going to stick to a very simple three video collage. Here's a nice one right here. You select it and then you simply drag your videos from your media room into the little blocks here in this grid. But I'm just going to grab a video and drag that in there. Drag this one in here and maybe drag this one in here. That's really all there is, basically. You can do some adjustments, so if I hover my mouse, you see over any one of these panels here in the grid, I have some options. There's a little zoomer here, so I can actually make my video larger or smaller in the grid. I can also reposition it simply by clicking and dragging over the video. As I hover, you see I also have the option of playing the audio from the video clip, which I usually mute just by clicking on the little speaker. And there's also a trimmer. Now the trimmer you can use, of course, to pick the best moments from your video clip, but I also use the trimmer to kind of synchronize the video clips. And I'll tell you what I mean by that. Among the settings here in the upper right are settings for your playback. You can set your video clips to play up one after another. So one plays, the other two are freeze frames. Or with a delay, so they kind of overlap a little bit. Or the default method in the way I prefer is to have them playing all at once. Now if they play all at once, they're not all the same length. So what happens to the videos when you have, say, a five second video sharing a grid with two 10 second videos? What happens to that five second video? You can see there are options here to have the video either freeze or loop back and play again and again or just go to a color. I'm going to leave it at freeze the video right now. So now I've got two 10 second videos and one 8 second video. If I were to play these all simultaneously, these two 10 second videos would continue to play out while the 8 second video would go to a freeze frame after 8 seconds. So what I can do is I can trim them so that they're all the same length. So go up here to the little scissors icon, click on that, and that opens this little trimmer window. And here I can set the length of my video by controlling the end and beginning points. And you see the duration shows up here in the upper right hand corner. I'm going to make it about 8 seconds. We'll go 722 here. Click OK. And now I'm going to do the same for these other videos. I'm going to set them all so that they're all 7 seconds and 22 frames. Good. And the same with the third one here. So now they're all three the same length. Let's test drive our video. We're just going to click the play button. Here you see it begins with a little animation. And now we're seeing all three videos playing at the same time. And after about seven and a half seconds, they all stop. That's pretty cool. If I click OK, that's added to my timeline. It appears on the timeline as a single clip. If I want to do any further editing with it, I can either select the clip on the timeline and then click the video collage function button or just double click on the collage clip and that reopens the video collage designer and we can modify it, replace clips or change any of the other characteristics. A pretty cool tool that makes a complicated process very simple and kind of fun. Now, if you want to know more about this program and all the wonderful incredible, sometimes very powerful tools in it. Be sure to check out the tips and tutorials here at moviepix.com. If you want to know everything about this program, pick up our moviepix.com guide to CyberLink Power Director 16. It's available at amazon.com and of course right here at the MoviePix store. Thanks for joining me. I'm Steve Grizzetti. See you again real soon.